Okay, so hey guys and welcome back to another predictions video and in today's video I'm going to be predicting the Rivas versus Romero fight. If you are new around here though and you haven't subscribed please do so like if you need like here and let's get straight into it. So going into this fight Romero is 13-0 with 7 KOs and Rivas is 17-4-2 with 11 KOs. This fight is for the WBA World Super Bantamweight title. Romero's last fight was a win via Zhikio in round 3 versus Cardozo. And Rivas' last fight was a win via stoppage in round 3 versus Fernandez. Rivas' losses have come against Acuna in 2018. Rivas in 2012. Bermudez in 2012. And Tiasuris in 2009. She's been fighting since 2007. She's never been stopped. She is... I'd say been doing better and been having more success since she's moved up to super bantamweight from bantamweight and so I mean she's only had the singular loss since moving up and that was the Acuna one which was for a world title to be fair and I mean like I said I think she has just as maybe a little bit more of a bigger fighter with a bigger build that has moved up and that move up has gone very well for her. Rivas is the current champion she won it after beating unbeaten fighter Lederzena in 2020. So, I mean, she fought Lederzena. She was the underdog. She is similar kind of record to what Romero has now. And so, possibly, the same could happen again. You never really know. But just the fact that she is the champion and she won it in a fashion that is similar to this. Romero is 29 and Rivas is 35. Of course, like I mentioned, she's been fighting since 2007. So, of course, has that experience, but is also going to be older and going to have the age against her and going to be arguments of possibly past the peak, not being able to do as well as what she maybe could have in the past. But either way, I'd say the way that she's fighting at the moment, especially in her recent performance, she is probably in a peak right now. Maybe she's just having a bit of a late prime, I suppose. This fight is in Romero's home country of Argentina. I believe Rivas has been moved out there for a little while now, but of course it is Romero's country that she was born in, and so possibly that means she's going to have the more support. I don't really think it plays a massive factor in this one. Rivas is coming off the back of a couple of health issues from what it seems, a little bit of time out of the ring, and few health issues that she's had to sort out and so I don't really know if that's going to play much of a factor but maybe that is just what's happening with her age maybe she's having a few more issues and struggling a little bit more now with her age or just in general maybe because she has been fighting for so long it just does play a little bit of effect um Romero as a fighter she's got fast feet she changes levels she's got a good jab fast hands inside type fighter got high guard she's attacking fights off the front foot solid jab best when she slows things down in my opinion i think from that she when she slows things down she doesn't always do it and it can mean that she's maybe at times maybe to an extent forcing it i don't know but like i said i think when she does slow it down she can technically be like she can use her hand speed to how do i put this she doesn't have to be doing loads because of what she is doing if she can slow it down her hand speed is quick enough so people can't counteract that anyway and so when she is just moving really quickly and using her fast hands and fast feet and it just means that maybe she's not landing the cleaner shots maybe not finding the best of angles but when she does slow it down she does find more success finds the angles finds the openings and that's just something which i wanted to see she did that quite well in the last fight but doesn't always do it and does sometimes struggle with that a little bit but good solid jab good feints fast overall fighter and that inside fighter she's not got the best of defenses overall she's not faced as much to face much pressure in general she's this is her toughest test this is a step up for her and she's not really been on the back foot at all really to be fair against any of her opponents she can throw with her arms a little bit means she's not throwing fully with her shoulders and not fully executing the amount of power which she probably could do and maybe is a little bit wild with her swings at times she doesn't deal with the pressure the best in my opinion any times which she has been which like i said is minimal she maybe has covered up a little bit 
not moved back and just kind of accepted the pressure a little bit but that's something that's going to come with time I suppose she should probably move in my opinion a bit more side to side she's a bit more straight back forward back forward type fighter she can duck ahead a little bit and of course this is a step up for her but overall a very solid fighter and a good uh, defense for Romero I mean Rivas Rivas as a fighter she's used to defying the odds I suppose used to being at this kind of level and fighting at this level and finding success at this level like I've mentioned she's got like I said that bigger build she's good at range she sets up her shots picture shots well doesn't overcommit. counters well composed got good counters sits down on shots more success since moving up like I mentioned she will fight on the outside and like I said pick her shots very well and she's a bit more patient and I think she's a completely different type of fighter to what Romero is and I think that makes this fight a good stylistic kind of matchup because it is two opposites going against each other and so I think possibly at range Romero might want it to be a little bit more in close and a bit more scrappy and probably have to try and cut off the ring more but Rivas is going to want to keep at range and keep it behind a jab and find the shots pick the shots and then maybe be able to find the openings a little bit from there and use her range and uh, overall i think just not try and get into a war with romero i'd say that she does struggle a little bit in close rivas she can put her head in the way at times she's got a weaker guard than what romero is she's got one of them like attempted at kind of flashier guards at times she can leave her head open when she's throwing kind of links to her guard She's not got the best of movements. She doesn't always turn up the tempo when necessary. Can sometimes maybe coast through to an extent a little bit or just be overly patient and not find, if she doesn't find any openings and just not really throwing too much or just being a little bit too submissive, I suppose, and not doing too much when even if her opponents are cowering up and just kind of accepting it, then she should turn up that tempo and should push the pressure a little bit but overall I think like I said this is a different style than what Romero has a good stylistic kind of opposition here and I mean Rivas is the favorite for this fight and I'm gonna fit I'm gonna say it was tough I wasn't really sure which way to go for this one but I'm gonna say that Rivas will win via unanimous decision you know it's a good fight when you can never really decide who you think is gonna win but in the end I'm gonna go for Rivas unanimous decision I think it would be a very close fight. I think Romero will probably have success in the earlier rounds. Rivas will just pick her shots and then take Romero to these later rounds and maybe make her work for a little bit more, try and stay on the outside, try and make sure she's not getting caught out by Romero, cut off, getting cut off the ring or anything like that, and just landing her good counters and consistently doing that, and she does consistently do that and she is quite an accurate fighter and so if she can consistently land then I think that will wear Romero down and then eventually she'll be able to get the win via unanimous decision and then there's a few options I've put all champions as options here and so Mercado that's a one of the biggest kind of names uh, Lefe Burr another world champion big name in her own right and then the uh, I mean Rivas, I believe she fought on a matchroom card in her last fight, and so the winner of the Scotland vs Johnson fight kind of sets up perfectly, to be honest, because it'll be an easier fight to make and be relatively kind of in line to do that, and I'm sure both fighters will want that fight, and so that could definitely be an option, or I don't think the Mikado one would be too difficult to make either, to be completely honest. Um, but yeah, that is it for today's video. Hope you did enjoy. Like, video, if you need like this, subscribe if you're new, and thanks for watching.